all the YouTubians tuning to my channel today. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a Q&A, so if you have any questions for me, make sure to leave them below. It doesn't have to be about this video, it can be about anything, and you'll see your question in a future video. The next thing I want to talk about is that today I'm finally doing a review on the other Jeffree Star lipstick I got in the mail, even though I didn't... Hello, kitty. Look who always has to come say hi. Asnia with the pretty face. Looking for the catnip plant. Not today, kitty. I told you guys that I got Calabasas in the mail when I actually ordered Candy Ass, which sounds very similar. So long story, I don't know if anyone else who ordered from the collection and got their order wrong, but I heard a lot of people did. Um, I reached out to Jeffree Star Cosmetics through their, you know, contact us section where you can send them an email with your JSC number for your order and I sent about three of those in about a week and a half and usually they get back to me within 24 hours um, and no one ever got back to me so I started getting a little upset because I was like I didn't order Calabasas I ordered candy ass so it was very frustrating because I don't particularly like red lipstick unless I'm going for a darker look um, so it was kind of frustrating. So what I did is I went on Google and I went typed in like Jeffree Star Cosmetics phone number and I found it on the Better Business Bureau page and I contacted someone so it sounds like that I am going to be getting my candy ass um, and they didn't say anything about me sending Calabasas back so I thought today I'd review Calabasas on how it looks, how it feels, and the smell. So as you may know, for his spring collection of 2017, um, it was the Chrome collection. So this is the case that it comes in, and this is the packaging. Am I tripping? <laughs> I feel like it looks like a shade I've seen before or that I possibly own and I noticed it was really similar looking to Rose Matter from Jeffree Star so I, I mean they're pretty close I feel like if I added some drug lore to Calabasas it might actually give me Rose Matter so I mean at least it, I got this for free I guess on accident but um I can't give you my honest final opinion until I try it on, can I? First, let's swatch Calabasas and Rose Matter so we can kind of see the color differences. And if there is really much of one. I mean, there's a little bit. So as you can see right here, this is Calabasas and then this is Rose Matter. So I mean, they're pretty close. I probably wouldn't have paid for this. Um, but the fact that it's so ridiculously close, um, but you know, some people just like to have the collection. So, what do you guys think? So up first, I'm going to talk about smell. Uh, so like uh, Drug Lord and some of the other ones, this one does not have a scent. Um, he has said that it is like, most of his lipsticks are like chemical smells, so I mean, like his other ones that smell like root beer or smell like watermelon, was it lemonade? And what else they smell like? Creamsicle. This one just smells like chemicals. Now we're actually going to try this on and see how it looks. So the first swipe, there is full coverage. It's very, um, how do I say it? It's very thin and it's not a bad thing. It's thin as in like, it doesn't go on cakey. It doesn't go on thick and there's still very full coverage, so let's keep going. So here we are. I actually do like the formula in this one. I feel like some of the formulas aren't really consistent sometimes and maybe it's just because there's like scents in them. I still do like his lipsticks. They hold up very well. Let's see. So it's a lot darker than it probably looks on this camera. Um, I would say that the advertising color is very true to how it comes out. Um, I mean it dries pretty fast. I just put, put it on and I feel like it's drying. Um, as for the swatches on my hand, 
rose matter is still a little wet and calabasas actually dried faster so maybe that's good so yeah full coverage would I buy this because uh, you know personally no I wouldn't buy this because I'm not a red color person I mean I own one red lipstick and it was kind of like I thought it was gonna be a lot more like pinky red online and this one didn't show up how it's supposed to be um, but I still do wear it every once in a while like I said with dark looks it's all on your preference if you're a red lipstick person if you like red lipstick I would say get this I think it's a limited edition because it's the chrome um, but he has been known to bring back a lot of his limited edition into a permanent collection so yeah and the smell isn't great it stays on it's dry like most of his other stuff there is no transfer Yep, no transfer, other than a little bit that I purposely accidentally put on my knuckle. I'm just very thankful that I reached out to them and I kind of was like, I've been having a hard time getting a contact with you. I have been waiting weeks. It says it's sold out online. I bought this when it came out. It was very frustrating and they were very understanding and they told me that they keep some on back stock for these reasons of orders getting mixed up when you actually bought a color that sold out. So hopefully, I will have candy ass soon in my possession and I will be doing a review on it. But I thought, uh, why not let's do a review on Calabasas since it's a color I now have in my collection. Last of all, I really wanted to say sorry that I haven't been uploading videos on every Friday. I've been a couple days late or a week late. Um, it's a more personal subject right now. I don't know if I am able to talk about, um, but there is something in my life happening where I have to put my life on hold sometimes and I have to deal with paperwork of... I don't know how to say this. Keeping toxic people out of my life so I can further on do the things I love without having to deal with um, harassment. I don't want to go on to names or subjects because I don't feel like I'm able to talk about this. But just know hologram fam that I'm doing great and that I will continue to make videos even if my life gets a little crazy sometimes and I have to deal with things, I'll always be here and I'll always make time to, <laughs> I'll always have time to make videos for you guys. It might just be like a day or two late, but right now, um, I'm gonna keep on trying to make them on Friday. <sighs> I hope you still stick around and watch my videos. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit like and subscribe, join the Hologram Family Transform. Tell your friends, feel free to share since YouTube changed up their analysis, analytics. Whatever, I can't pronounce words right now. Share it so your friends know, and if they like makeup. I'll see you guys hopefully on Friday. Love you guys, have a great rest of your day. Ah!